Hey guys, welcome back to Startup Central. Today we're going to be discussing a new airdrop and this one is by Polyhedra and uh, specifically we're going to be discussing how to get the 1 million Polyhedra airdrop by Binance. So there's an ongoing regular airdrop by Polyhedra and I'm going to do another video about that but today I'm going to show you how to really really easily get this one and all you have to do is already have an account with Binance to begin with. If you don't have one already I'm going to place a link in the description of this video with a referral link. I would very much appreciate it if you can create your account with that link. We're going to be both getting I think $50 or that's I don't know the reward right now but it's something along those lines for uh, you clicking on that link. If you already have a Binance account, then you need to go ahead and log into your Binance account. So you can pause this video right now and resume it once you have logged into your account. So I am um, assuming you already paused this video and you're back. So let's get Okay, guys, this is the announcement. Uh, it's 1 million Polyhedra airdrop by Binance. And all you have to do is complete two, two simple tasks to get this. Uh, and I'm going to show you exactly how to do that because this is a step-by-step -step guide as per usual on this channel. So um, the first thing to do, you need to do is to be logged into your account, as I was mentioning. As you can see, I'm logged in already. So all you have to do, and uh, well, be, you need to be aware that this activity will end on March 4th. So you still have like two, three weeks from now. So if you are within this period of time, you can still qualify for a number of uh, polyhedra networks or polyhedra, whatever you want to call them. So I'm going to click on start the mission. Now, guys, uh, there's one requirement for this and of course this is distributed by Binance so they want you to use their own wallet so if you go here you go to more and click on web3 wallet it's going to take you to this page where you can download that wallet uh, you can use that wallet on your cell phone I don't know if there's an extension but we'll figure it out so yeah apparently it, apparently it is for your mobile phone so you need to scan this QR code and get that wallet installed. So again, you need to pause this video until you get that done and then we can resume. So you got your wallet installed, you logged into your Binance account and you got it active. Now we're gonna be continuing and performing the next actions using your wallet. So you're probably gonna be using your phone uh, to log in and do the transfers. So the first thing you need to do is get to this page i'm going to leave the link in the description of this video as per usual then you need to click join uh, i already clicked on it so you are seeing the next button which is start the mission we're going to click here and it's going to take us to the two tasks we need to perform the first one is bridge a token which is going to be really easy guys if you have done those airdrops uh, by bridges you already know what to do but again i'm going to show you because this is a, a guide a step-by-step -step guide and then we're going to be needing to bridge an NFT, which gets a little bit more complicated, but I mean, it's not the end of the world. And again, I'm going to be showing you what you need to do. So this is uh, as fast as it can be. And it should take you no more than five to 10 minutes to complete this. So first things first, let's click on this first task. I'm going to click on transfer now, and it's going to send me to uh, ZK Bridge. And I've, I'm already logged into a different wallet, but I'm going to be logging into my Binance wallet. So I just logged out. I'm going to click on Connect Wallet, which the button is on the upper right hand as normal, regularly. It's going to offer me how I want to log in. And you need to choose Binance Web3 Wallet, which is the one you should already have installed. And it's going to offer you a QR code. So all you need to do is scan that QR code with your Binance wallet. If you don't know how to do that, all you need to do is go to your wallet on your phone and click on the three dots on the, on the upper side of your screen and it's going to offer you a number of options. Then you, all you have to do is click on scan and um, it asks me to make a copy, <laughs> like a copy of my key. So give me just one second, guys, and I'm going to resume in a second. Okay, guys, I hope it wasn't too complicated. It took me like five minutes to configure the Binance wallet. It's just for the first time. Then if you want to keep using it, uh, everything you did to get it configured, it's already set up. So now I'm connected to uh, this website through that QR code. 
So all you have to do is scan it with your Binance uh, app on your phone. Once you, you have uh, done that, you are already connected here. And now we need to transfer. Now, there's another thing that you need to make sure you have before getting here. And again, you're gonna probably going to have to pause this video because you have to fund that wallet. So um, you can fund it from an existing wallet on the Binance Smart Chain. So um, I'm going to do that just now. And I'm going to let you know what if I found any hurdles, which shouldn't be the case. Uh, and then I'm going to resume this video. Okay, so I have funded this wallet and I have 0.04 BNB and I can send any amount, but I don't want to send more than I require because there's going to be some more uh, gas fees involved in sending that NFT claim it and send it, send it, which is task number two. So I'm going to send just 0 0.010 point. So I advise you not to send every uh, cent you have over there for the same reason. So I'm going to send from BNB chain to up BNB an amount of 0 0.01 BNB. And um, yeah, so again, guys, this is the Binance wallet. It's not your regular wallet. And I'm going to click on transfer and it's going to be confirming in a few seconds. It should be opening my uh, wallet on my phone, asking me to confirm this thingy. As you can see, well, it's in Spanish. I don't think it's going to uh, be easy to read if you don't read Spanish. So all I'm going to do is click on confirm on my phone. And once I've done that, uh, it's going to ask me to provide some... Um, an OTP. So give me just one second, guys. I'm going to pause and then resume. So I just click on, I did everything I need to do on that wallet. And I am told that this has been completed. So I finished task number one. Now we are on to task number two, which is transferring an NFT. Now, you probably don't have an NFT, especially if you have just created this wallet. So we need to create one. Now, fortunately, ZK Bridge provides us an easy, easy way to do that. And all you have to do is go ahead and click on gallery and uh, claim this NFT. So it's going to ask you which chain do you want to claim it to. And as you can see over down below this dragon, you can send it to BNB, up BNB, Arbitrum, Polygon and Optimism. So I'm going to send it to the regular BNB chain, which you can confirm on the right side of this dragon and click on claim. Of course, it's going to make you spend a little bit of gas fees. It's not that much. I think it's just 10 cents. So we'll see. It's going to ask me to confirm again on my Binance wallet, which is on my phone. So it's kind of a pain on the butt if you ask me. I just click on confirm. And now I'm going to add have to enter an OTP and click on my email address and find that code. So I don't think I'm going to be using this wallet that much, but it's cool if I'm going to be claiming Polyhedra as the airdrop. So pause for a moment and come back in a second. So I just entered the OTP and the code that was sent by email. And then now I can bridge this NFT. I have claimed it. So that's step number one. And then I can claim it by clicking on uh, over here. I mean, I claimed it and now I want to bridge it. Uh, and uh, before that, for some reason, I need to click on import. So I'm going to import that NFT to ZK Bridge and um, I'm going to click on next and send a receiver blockchain. So I'm going to send that to up BNB, click on next and approve. Again, it's going to ask me to confirm everything on my wallet, enter my OTPs and all that stuff. Uh, and then once I do that, it's going to be sending it to my same wallet, but on OPBNB. And all I have to do is wait a little bit until this is confirmed. Now I uh, just imported the, this uh, NFT and I need to click on transfer to, com to confirm and finally finish with this task. So again, it's going to ask me on my wallet, on my phone, to confirm, enter all those OTP codes, and then we are close to being done. So it's just a matter of waiting, and then we have completed this task. I could click on redeem if I want to send the, the NFT back, but I'm not going to be doing that because it's going to get a little bit messy and long, and that's not what is required. And of course, I did not pay for that NFT. It was gifted to me, so that's fine. If you click on history, this is the important part, guys. Click on history to confirm that everything went through. And as you can see, my, my NFT is already on the destination 
a chain which is OPBNB. Now, uh, you might want to reclaim your token from that other chain. So you can actually click on transfer again, switch sides over here, and then click on max and transfer. So that's going to send that OP BNB back to the regular BNB. Now, um, I have a tip for you guys uh, before we uh, verify if everything is, is correct. So this is uh, mainly because you can transfer to and from Linea using this bridge. And I have noticed that if you do that, then you will get more experience points for that linear airdrop. So if you already watched that video and did some of those actions, those tasks, uh, you have a number of XP on your wallet, so you have not checked. Uh, go to your MetaMask, switch to Linea on the, on the blockchain uh, section, and then look for the token. You should have your XP token over there. And by doing this through the ZikiSync bridge, uh, you are going to be getting some more experience points, which will qualify you for a larger chunk of that linear airdrop, which I'm sure you're going to be happy of having done this right now, because you, if you get like, I don't know, $100 more or $1,000 more, just by, bri by bridging uh, now that you're here using this dApp, uh, you're not going to be regretting it. Now let's go back to the browser and uh, check whether this was confirmed and uh, then we will need to go back to that Binance page and verify everything. So uh, this one is still pending. Okay, it doesn't matter. I'll deal with that later. But I want to show you uh, down below this two tasks, there is a button that says verify task status. So you click here and you should be getting this green square around this task, which means, guys, that you are ready to um, receive that airdrop, which will probably make each one of us really happy. I don't know how much this is going to be worth, but this was kind of easy. The only um, hurdle is configuring that BNB, uh, Binance wallet, and getting through those OTPs and all those codes that you need to enter every time you do a transaction. But it's worth it, guys. It, um, this video is almost 10 minutes long, 12 minutes long, but uh, it took me like some additional five to 10 minutes to uh, set up the, the wallet. Now, if you have already used that or created one Binance wallet, then it should take you no time to complete this. So I hope this was useful to you guys. If it was, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to Startup, to Startup again. I'm too tired, guys. To Startup Central, because we keep talking about airdrops and crypto gems and in general, how to make profits in the crypto sphere. So I hope to see you in the next video. Bye-bye now.